Hello everyone. Our job for today is configuring extended access list, scenario 3. Here we got an addressing table. In this scenario, specific devices on the LAN are allowed to various services on servers located on the Internet. Part 1. Configure a named extended ACL. Use one named access list to implement. Block HTTP and HTTPS access from PC1 to Server1 and Server2. The servers are inside the cloud and you only know their IP addresses. Block FTP access from PC2 to Server1 and Server2. Block ICMP access from PC3 to Server1 and Server2. Step 1. Deny PC1 to access HTTP and HTTPS services on Server 1 and Server 2. Create an extended IP access list named ACL which will deny PC1 access to the HTTP and HTTPS services of Server 1 and Server 2. Deny access from PC1 to Server 1, only for HTTP, port 80. Deny access from PC1 to Server 1, only for HTTPS, port 443. Deny access from PC1 to Server 2, only for HTTP, port 80. Deny access from PC1 to Server 2, only for HTTPS, port 443. Step 2. Deny PC2 to access FTP services on Server 1 and Server 2. Deny access from PC2 to Server 1, only for FTP, port 21 only.
deny access from PC2 to server 2, only for FTP, port 21 only. Step 3. Deny PC3 to ping Server 1 and Server 2. Deny ICMP access from PC3 to Server 1. Deny ICMP access from PC3 to Server 2. Step 4. Permit all other IP traffic. By default, an access list denies all traffic that does not match any rule in the list, so, we must permit all other IP traffic. Part 2. Apply and verify the extended access list. Step 1. Apply the ACL to the correct interface and in the correct direction. In this case, we apply the access list to interface G0-0 with the inbound direction. Step 2. Test access for each PC. PC1 cannot access the website of Server 1 and Server 2 using both HTTP and HTTPS protocols. PC1 can access FTP of Server 1 and Server 2. The pings from PC1 to Server 1 and Server 2 were successful.
PC 2 can access the website of Server 1 and Server 2 using both HTTP and HTTPS protocols. PC2 cannot access FTP of Server 1 and Server 2. The pings from PC2 to Server 1 and Server 2 were successful. PC3 can access the website of Server 1 and Server 2 using both HTTP and HTTPS protocols. PC3 can access FTP of Server 1 and Server 2. The pings from PC3 to Server 1 and Server 2 were unsuccessful. That's all for this activity. Thanks for watching.